what's your big, biggest learning um, do you think you'll have had as a business owner on the way through? Uh, that would be a book in and of itself. Um, I, I think the biggest one for me as, as a personal one is trust your gut. Um, yeah. You know, I think we, I started the business with, with, with two, two of my co-founders um, and there's, there's always three of us. And then as the business grows, you know, you put in place a senior management team, you get a, a big blue chip board in place, you have a big shareholder and investor base, some of whom are on the board, and you end up getting lots of different voices in your ears, right, which is very beneficial to some instances in terms of different perspectives, especially the areas that you're not that strong in. And those can be very complementary and beneficial. But I think also, you know, in my experience, I think it sometimes created doubts in my mind. I had too many voices and too many opinions. Yep. But then when I look look back in hindsight, you know, nine out of 10 times, my initial gut was right. But I, but I started second guessing myself. Um, and, and I think as a founder, like remembering that, remembering why you started and trusting that 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 gut, you know, not blindly and passion. Like, don't get too passionate about the thing and get blind. You listen to the other options, but yeah, really, really trust your gut would be one as a personal experience of mine and something that I'm consciously working on in the future. Whether it's another startup or, or another role, um, is something that I actively want to cultivate. And and really listening into that and understanding when it it's like a true gut versus when you're being you know potentially pressured into a different perspective. 